Good morning. So what's the best thing to eat before exercise? So this really depends on how long you're exercising for. If you're exercising for five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, even an hour, this might sound a bit odd as someone with a nutrition background, but actually anything that means that you're not that hungry, even if that means nothing, by the way, if it's early morning, um, which doesn't trigger your digestive system so you're bloated, you've know, got a bit of IBS or anything like that. So you want something that's nice, simple if you do eat something. So if, if you're having something that's like maybe an hour and a half or more, then you might want to consider a bit more of a plan. So for example, a few days leading up to it, you're going to want a few more carbohydrate-based meals, keeping your protein intake pretty much the same, because protein's going to be key. So whether that's fish, eggs, meats, yogurt, etc. And a few days before as well, you might want to start lowering fiber in general, just to mean that one, you get enough carbohydrates in if you're doing a long, longer um, exercise session or event or race. Two, it means that you're not risking any digestive issues on the day, which is kind of one of the worst things to feel, right? But if you're exercising, your main goal is fat loss. Like I always say, you've got to prioritize that. So don't ever think that if I wake up in the morning and go and exercise, I'm going to have no energy if I don't have breakfast because you should be, your carbohydrate levels or glycogen stored energy will be topped up from yesterday anyway. Um, and if it's not, and your goal is fat loss, remember that we are trying to lose body fat. So we can just go into a bit of a deficit. That's okay as well. Obviously you want to feel okay. You don't want to be taking medication, etc. You want to consider all of that if it needs food with it, of course. I'm not saying that. But sometimes we overstress it. I think the the marketing of supplements and pre-workout is just heavily rife. Like it's almost like we shouldn't move unless we've had X, Y, and Z, um, which often holds us back. It's another thing that holds us back. When actually, sometimes there's a lot to be said for just getting out there and doing it. Getting out there and doing the exercise where it's five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, and seeing how you go. And actually, if it means that not having breakfast means that you actually get it done rather than have breakfast, feel a bit sluggish, feel a bit tired again, or don't have enough time, woken up too late to have breakfast and do it, then if you were to clone yourself and look 12 months from now, who would get better results would be the person who did the exercise. I can pretty much guarantee that. So don't overcomplicate it. Sometimes just do it and only really worry about it. If you've got uh, a kind of exercise that's an hour and a half or longer, if I'm honest. So, and if it's, if it's more low intensity walking, you'll probably be fine anyway. So things that you could have though, if you were light, let's say you finish work and you're going straight in, but it's too early for dinner. Um, you know, something like a protein shake, if your goal is fat loss is fine, just take the hunger away and a piece of fruit. That's fine, fruit, piece of apple, fine. Maybe a, a small yogurt with an apple, banana, something like that. Something quite simple, it doesn't have to be over, you don't have to overcomplicate that. So I hope that helps nice and easy. Any questions, let me know and I'll see you soon.